Welcome back everyone. If you have been using git for a while, you might have heard about git stash. It's one of the useful features in git. It's a command that helps you temporarily but safely store your uncommitted local changes. It is like putting your uncommitted changes on a shelf and you can at any point of time take it back. So far what we have seen is uh, from the working copy to staging we use git add and then from staging to uh, local repository we use git commit and then we can further push it. One part that was missing that was putting changes from working directory in a stash box that is known as git stash. So we will see in uh, using one example how to do git stash and how to keep our working directory clean uh, for any kosher pull operations. So let us move to the project that we were working on and we will make some changes and we will then stash them. So these are the list of commands that we will be going through. So the, first, the folder that we have is this where we have three files, two code files and one readme file. So in file one, or first of all, let us do git status and see if we have any uncommitted changes. The branch is up to date with origin master. So let us make some changes. I added one line. I named it as one O N E just to make it simple. And I do git status. So changes are here on the local or the working directory. And I want to stash it using git stash save. I would have also used, I could also use git stash only without any uh, anything further, um, but that do not give a proper message if I want to recall. So it is better to use git stash save. Once I save, I can see in the file itself there is nothing uh, which I have uh, put in the working copy. It has stashed it. So if you want to see on the shelf what is there, there is one stash which we have done on master and you can see the message here in front of it. That is what we have put using it stash save. I make another change in the file. This is again the dirty piece of code which is incomplete. I want to stash it. I want to move to uh, the, the actual main line again. So for that again I am git stash save and give it index let's say 2. In the list, I see there are two stashed changes. Although these are being done on one file, so we will be seeing a merge conflict later on if we try to stash all the change, all these things uh, at once. So let us do another stash. I have changed another thing, and I do git stash save and give an index. Let's say three. So in the list now we have three stashes. If I clear it and if I do git stash list, I will see there are three stash changes. So we are done with the git stash save command and we are done with git stash list. Now we need to study about git stash apply. We have created three stashes. I want to apply one of them. So if we check the list, git stash list, we have three stashes. I want to apply one of them, git stash apply, and then the name git um, stash at the rate uh, in curly brackets, you need to give the index. So zero is the first one, uh, is the last one that you have done. One is the one that we have done in between and two is the first one that we have done. It is first come last out. So git stash apply, uh, I have given a wrong name. That's why it gave an error. It should be at the rate. And uh, now I can see there is change in file one. Uh, if I see here, index I have given is one. So the comment is two in front of it and the text should be TWO. So we have taken something that we have put on shelf back on the master or the working directory. So if you check in the list again, we have all the stashes available there. It is not deleting anything. When you apply them, it is not deleting anything. It is just applying it. 
once you do one stash apply one stash you cannot apply another on it until and unless you add or commit those changes otherwise you need to uh, sync with the uh, local repository using get reset minus minus hard and undo all the changes then you can apply second one so again it is synced now i can apply any other stash but again if i would try to do apply stash after this one again i will get error so and that this is genuine So if I check using a list, so I have three stashes available. So we are done with git stash apply. Now let us see what is git stash pop. So git stash pop is applying the last stash and it deletes it from the shelf so git stash list will see that the last stash that we have done it applied it and it has automatically deleted it so three is here and it has deleted it from the list now if you want to uh, apply another stash using git stash pop it won't allow you to do that until and unless you add or commit these changes because the changes are here with the name 3 and the, if you want to apply another stash it will try to write 2 on it it won't be able to resolve the conflict whether it should be 2 or 3 so here let us first commit the changes and see what happens I am staging the changes with a proper message I am saying that I have stashed these changes earlier and now if I try to do git stash pop at this moment again it would be in trouble because there is one change that I have done on the working copy and one is it want to stash from the shelf so it will say there is a conflict and you need to manually resolve So if there is a conflict it won't be able to delete that stash from the list and you will see this in the working copy that this is uh, there on the working on the in the uh, upstream and this is on the stashed changes so you need to manually resolve the conflict and you need to add or commit these changes so you need to stage the changes and then if you want to specifically delete that stash from the list you need to drop it using git stash drop so give a proper message to this commit git status so there is nothing to commit now if we check the list we have two stashes available so we are done with git stash pop next is git stash show if you do git stash show it will highlight the changes that are there in the stash so it has one file changed with two insertions and it will give you the file name also so if uh, as i said if you want to drop the last stash you can use git stash drop so you will see that there is only one stash left on the on the list if you try to drop again it will delete all the stashes so delete git stash drop delete uh, stashes from the top and deletes one by one there is another command known as git stash clear which clear all the stashes at one and it is nearly impossible to uh, recover uh, if you delete the stashes or clear the stashes so I am making a um, few more changes again just to explain you git stash clear so this is one uh, change that I have done uh, then I am putting another stash git stash save to 
so there are two um, stashes on the list if I check using git stash list so there are two stashes if I do git stash clear it will delete all the stashes in one go and and you cannot recover them so guys i hope this concept is now clear to you i will see you in the next video